obviously I started Tuesday. I was in Glasgow. Wednesday, I was in Dublin. Thursday, I travelled to Miami. Miami. And I got to see Kim unfortunately lose. So before I continue, yo, let's have a chant for Kim, yo. Kim, Kim, Kim trained hard, I know it. He trained so hard for that fight. So for him to lose like that, it pains him and everyone around because we know he's better than that, yo. We know he's better than that. But you know what? Like Thanos said, fine, I'll do it myself. So best believe. I'll destroy the pools myself, yo. I beat Logan Paul, and I'm gonna finish Jake Paul. In two time, in two time, yo. Jeez. Fuck. Big man ting, smash the like button and subscribe. Wow. So we just heard Dare from KSI calling out and confirming he will be rising to the smoke of Jake Paul. Now listen, I don't know about all this goofy stuff about, oh, Anderson Gibb, we know that wasn't the best Gibb. Listen, the best Gibb, you man all fight the same, I'm sorry, Vidal Riley has called him, has said he's not no longer going to be training people, and I think that's a good idea, because have you not noticed a, a pattern here? All of Vidal Riley's fighters, they fight the same. They run forward with their chin in the air, and they eat a load of shots. Now, luckily enough... For KSI in that second fight against Logan, Logan was gun shy, but cast your minds back to the first fight. What happened when Logan was throwing shots? Every shot was rattling KSI's head back. Now, like I said, the second fight gave people a false sense of security because because Logan wasn't throwing anything, it made KSI look good, but look at the first fight. The minute Logan threw something, it was hitting him in the face, jabs hitting him, right hands hitting him. And with that in mind, look at the Gibbs situation with Jake Paul. Jake Paul ain't no Logan. He's got confidence. He throws his hands. Them hands was throwing. And to be honest, even think about KSI versus Logan Paul too. What happened when the first time Logan Paul threw a right hand? It caught KSI flush and buzzed him. Now, to be fair, Jake Paul's not as big as Logan, but... He's got that snare about him. Logan hasn't got the viciousness. So, KSI, I'm half rooting for KSI because obviously he's a UK Donny and whatnot. But, he needs to bring someone in for the training team. Vidal ain't the one. Vidal's, he just ain't got it. He got lucky a few times. The techni Technically speaking, the technique ain't there. Running forward with your chin in the air. Look at Anderson Gibbs' stance. People say, oh, well, he didn't have much time. Listen, Vidal Riley was training Anderson Gibb for about two or three years now. Let's not forget, this whole thing's been going on since KSI fought Weller. That was back in, way back when, back in 2017 or something. Three years ago. Three years is actually a lot of time. Especially when you're training 24-7. Or every week. And th there ain't no improvement. KSI really, was there much really com improvement in KSI? That same kind of style, plod forward, big sweeping punches. They need a new trainer. Look at, look at how short and sharp Jake Paul's shots were. Short left hooks, short right hands, short jabs, everything was tight. Now that said, if KSI hits you, like he hit Logan, Logan went down but still... I don't like this fight for KSI, to be honest. But that said, it's going to be great entertainment. This fight, Jake Paul versus KSI, is going to be everything that Logan wasn't. Logan ain't got the bottle. Logan choked, yeah? Logan is one of them cats who, just, who can't turn up. He don't know how to turn it on. But, to their credit, Jake Paul and KSI, they're cut from the same bread. They're that, they're that kind of... Conor McGregor kind of calibre, in as much as they know how to perform. He, to be fair, Conor McGregor, he choked sometimes as well. He choked versus the Nate in the first Nate fight, and he choked versus the first 
Khabib fight as well. But still, they've got that. They're able to perform. So it's going to be a complete. It's going to be a true madness. But KSR 10, you know, he needs to bring someone in who knows about boxing because this whole chin down and swinging around the place ain't no good. Especially when we know that KSI likes to throw a big right hand. And Jake Paul, when he was fighting Anderson Gibb, Jake, Paul was, he, Jake Paul's left hook was very short and sharp. And that's relevant because right hands line up with left hooks. If KSI throws one of them big looping left hooks, and KSI looks at the floor. When he throws his right hand, he looks at the floor. So what happens if he goes in that fight with Jake... Looks at the floor, throws a right hand, big overhand right, misses, and Jake counters. I can see, I can see KSI going to sleep, especially when Jake Paul has only just started working with Shane. And look how much he's already improved. He's going to have another six months of improvement. Have we seen any improvement in KSI from his first fight? Maybe a little bit, but not big, not leaps and bounds compared to Jake. Look at look at Jake versus Deji. Compared to Jake versus Anderson Gibb, completely different people. And the all I can say is Vidal Riley needs to go. And to be fair, Vidal, he knows the show's over now. He's talked about oh, I'm the best coach in the world, but he knows now the game's over. He saw what Jake did to Anderson Gibb, how Jake did demolished him, and he's realised I'm getting out of this training game. He said himself. Listen, I'm not doing no more training, and rightfully so. Number one, because you're not really training your fighters. It's all well and good putting head guard on, putting big gloves on, and tr telling people to march forward. Go back and watch the videos. The evidence is there. Vidal Riley, when he's training Anderson Gibb, when he's training KSI, all he says is work, work, work. Don't go backwards. I remember, I I've watched it, the documentary. Fidel Riley put out a 30 minute documentary about the Anderson Gibb camp and they showed sparring and even Faye Sensei put out a 30 minute video of the sparring they did and in that sparring the only thing Vidal Riley said there was no technique all Vidal Riley said was work 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 and when and when um, Anderson Gibb got hit with a shot he said no don't go backwards go forwards don't go backwards, go forwards. We don't get hurt. We get stronger. And that's all fun and games. That's all rhetoric. That's all talk. But this isn't talking. Now don't get me wrong, Vidal's a good and alright fighter in his in his own right, but when you're training people, you've got to be realistic. And look what happened in the Jake fight. When Anderson Gibb got in there against Jake, even though he was getting hit, he just kept coming forward. And that's because Vidal Riley had trained him that way. Vidal Riley had trained him. That when you get hit, you just keep on coming forward and getting hit some more. And with 10 ounce gloves, and with no head guard on, you can't afford to do that. So I'm sorry, this whole hype about Vidal being a great trainer, he's not. He's been very lucky that he's fought people that Logan choked. That's the first thing. And obviously, Anderson Gibbs' former opponents, they've been no good. What needs to happen... KSI needs to bring in someone serious. I'm not, I'm not even sure the Mayweather. I'm not even sure Jeff Mayweather can do it. Because let's get it right. Jeff Mayweather was there for this other camp. And what impact did he really have? Because KSI looked the damn same to me. But who knows. Let's hope that KSI can bring someone in. Who can get him thinking a bit more. Because look at Anderson Gibbs footwork. Awful footwork. He looked like Bambi on ice. He was ice skating in there. Skating around the place. Not a good look at all. Really not a good look. Anyway. One thing I will say. Either, however this fight goes. I'm glad it's happening. It's a People can sit there and say it's, oh, it's a YouTuber fight. But this is a sick YouTuber fight. As far as YouTuber fight goes. This one's the one. It's going to be exciting. Both men have big hearts. Both men have a lot to lose. Because it, it's funny how it works out. How it's worked out is... Whoever wins this fight has essentially killed the other's family because KSI beat Logan, which only leaves Jake, and Jake's beat Deji. So, you see what I mean? If, <laughs> if Jake wins, that means he's taken out KSI and Deji, and if KSI wins, that means he's taken out Logan and, um, Logan and Jake. So, whoever wins this fight is the ultimate. 
And that means that both of them are representing their families and none of them can afford to lose. So yeah, man, crack on. It'll be a great fight. And both of them have got heart. Jake came out swinging against Anderson Gibbon. They weren't just they weren't just crap shots either. There was good sting on them. So KSI's got to fix up, man. He's going to have to find someone who knows what they're doing. Because this whole running forward business with your chin in the air ain't going to work. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe. And your boy will be back. Trap, trap.